Ukrainians continue to mount a fierce counteroffensive to take back territory from Russian troops. This is new video out of Marikiv, a suburb of Kyiv that Ukrainian forces say they recaptured. NBC's Cal Perry is live in Lviv for us. Cal. Shep, as we enter the second month of this war, much of the talk is about that video that you're showing there as Ukrainian forces now on the offensive, some 40 miles west of the capital, showing their burned out Russian vehicles. We understand that counterattack is still ongoing as we speak. The UK Ministry of Defense saying it's possible that Ukrainian forces could actually encircle and start to trap some of those Russian units. That would largely increase the number of POWs that the Ukrainians are taking, as well as, of course, Russian casualties, the likes of which we have not seen uh, in generations. Moving to the east of the country, the city of Mariupol, again, under heavy bombardment, a brief lull today, and you showed it, those long lines of people waiting for supplies. We have seen the Russian military target the food supplies in these cities, targeting grain facilities, targeting markets, and people there are just simply running out of supplies. Here in the capital of Kyiv, we witnessed something pretty amazing this morning, Shep. We saw a Lithuanian group called Blue Yellow transferring gear to the front of this country. We were talking about flak jackets, scopes for sniper rifles, drone equipment, anti-drone uh, equipment, jamming equipment, all of this stuff coming out of Europe. There's so much discussion about the support from NATO <laughs> allies, so many of these NATO allies, and you see the video of there using NGOs to move this equipment because they themselves don't want to be targeted directly by Russian forces. So again, using middlemen to get this gear uh, into the country. And, Shep, a, a grim milestone that we've crossed just in the past hour. We're hearing from UNICEF about the refugee crisis here. They're updating their numbers, saying now more than half of the children in this country have been displaced in just one month of fighting. Mm. Shep. Cal Perry, live in Lviv.